So in this problem, guys, um, we have a triangle. We have side length H, side length B, side length C. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a nice little triangle here. I'll do a nice little McLogan triangle. We'll go to A and B and C, 20, 50, and 60. And yes, I just did label a triangle left for myself. But again, that's how I always draw my triangles, right? I don't know if it's acute. I don't know if it's obtuse. I just kind of always draw the same type of triangle. And I typically draw the A, B, and C, unless it's that ambiguous case, right? Then I always do angle side side, right? I always draw it like that. But this one, I know it's not angle side side because there's all three sides. Um, all right, so again, for testing a quiz, which you have next class period quiz, you might not know what, I'm not going to tell you to use law of sines, law of cosines. So we've got to think through this. Well, if we have a ratio, we can create a proportion. But the problem, we don't have a ratio, right? Remember ratio, you have to have the side length and its angle. Side length and its angle. Side length and its angle. We don't have any angles. So that means we need to solve for an angle. Agreed? So should we solve for A because that's the formula that we have? Could. It could work, right? But it's not really going to help us out much, OK? And the reason being is um, if we solve for A, then we're just going to have to do this again twice, all right? So my preferred thing is what I like to teach people is I like to say the best thing to do is always solve for the largest angle. Because again, what are we worried about? We're worried about creating the, um, the law of cosines. So you could do the law of cosines twice. You could solve for A, and then you could solve, then you could do the law of cosines for C or for B. But then you have to do the law of cosines twice. And sometimes you'll see when we type this into our calculator, it can be kind of um, it can be kind of confusing, or people can make some mistakes. So rather than doing A, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve for C. Why C? Because C, if there is an obtuse angle in this triangle, if I drew this triangle wrong and there is an obtuse angle, it's gonna be C because the largest side is six is C. Right? The largest side is going to have the largest angle. Agreed? So how do I rewrite this formula in terms of c? Well, I just swap the variables. Like It's not that much bad, guys. You're just going to take cosine of c. And now, wherever there is a, a um, an c I'm just, or an a, I'm just going to replace it with c. So this would be b squared plus a squared minus c squared all over 2 times a times b. So you can manipulate it. That's all we're doing. Right? That's why I'm only giving you one problem, because all you're doing is swapping variables. All right, that's why I'm giving you one formula. All right, And then it's just a good old plug and chug. 50 squared plus um, a squared, which is 20 squared, plus 60 squared, or minus 60 squared, sorry. Now make sure you're typing this in correctly, guys. Um, what I'd recommend doing here is not typing this all at once. I'll show you why after. But I'd recommend finding the numerator first, and then finding the denominator, and then dividing them too. All right? I'll show you how to type them in all at once. You're just going to want to make sure you use parentheses, and I'll explain that um, again later. So if you want to type it all at once, that's fine. Just use parentheses. If not, evaluate them um, together. So 50. Huh? Are you sure? I have no idea actually what you're saying. So I mean what you're doing. If you're right or wrong, I was just saying you're sure. All right, I should get a oh man, I guess the easy numbers are just easy. So I get a negative 0.35. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense for an angle? No. It's kind of small, isn't it? Should I maybe do it again? Did I do something wrong? Huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. That's the cosine of C. You would, be you would be surprised, maybe not surprised, on how many people leave that as the answer. Guys, that makes no sense in the context of this problem. Look at these side lengths. It doesn't make sense you're going to have an angle that small, right? So you have to, how do you solve for C? When you have cosine of C, you have to use the inverse function. Now, I know you guys could easily retype in retype in negative 0.35. But the point that I'm trying to bring to you guys is go ahead and um, use the second answer feature. Okay, So 
hit cosine inverse, second cosine, and then do second answer. Because the other problems that we're going to do later today are going to be more difficult. They're going to be more, you're not going to want to type in all the digits. So therefore, when you do that, though, you should get 110.48 degrees. I'm sorry, 7, which equals 110 degrees, because I will allow you guys to round to the nearest hole. Huh? Yeah, let's make it easier. But I need to find these other angles, though, right? Agreed? So you can see how my angle is drawn bad, incorrect, right? See how I drew this bad angle, right? Bad triangle. But that's okay. I just, you know. But my point is, I need to figure out these rest of them. Now, should I use the law of cosines again, or could I use the law of sines? So here's the thing. Since, now this one ended up being obtuse. Am I worried about the law of sines not giving me the obtuse angle? Because remember, when you do in sine inverse, right? Because with the law of sines, you have to do sine inverse. When you do sine inverse, you're only going to get the acute angle. Are we worried about there being an obtuse angle? No, because we already have one. So that's why when you have side, 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 if, as long as you find the largest angle first, you don't have to worry about the ambiguous case happening. OK? So now I can say which one you want to solve. Let's do A. So I'll do sine of A over 20 equals the sine of 110. No. Do not use 110. Why should we not use 110? Because it's rounded. Don't use rounded answers. We only round at the end. So that means this answer, 110.4873151, I should store that. Since that's angle C, I'll store it as angle C. So I'll do store angle C. Then I'll do 20 times the sine of alpha c, nice to recall it that way, divided by 60. Make sure you're closing your parentheses. And I get point 312249899. Is that my answer? Is that my angle? No, don't stop writing this down, guys. That's the sine of ang your angle, right? So how do you find your angle? You take the inverse. I could type that all over again, but that was kind of a lot. Make sure you know how to use that answer feature, that last answer feature. And again, guys, anything that I'm going over with you, if you're like not able to follow or you don't like you have a calculator that's different, you know, I'll walk around, I'll have time today. Just make sure you ask me. Let me know, okay? Because everybody's at different levels with technology and stuff like that. What's the uh, inverse cosine under the sine Yeah. I did that and I got 1.9. You're in radian mode. So go to mode and change it to degrees. So I would do sine inverse and on my last answer, second answer, and I get 18 points. Okay, which I can round to 18 degrees. Now should I do law of sines one more time to give me B? No, now we could just go ahead and subtract them, right? So in this case, what I'll do is um, I am now going to take so I'll store this. Let's do store as alpha p. All right, so now I'm going to do 180 minus alpha c minus alpha b. And I get 51.3 degrees. So b equals 51.3 degrees, which is equal to 51 degrees. And I recognize, guys, that I do realize that, yes, they don't add up to 180. But again, that's good. That's going to be a rounding error that we'll have. And that's because I'm allowing you guys to round to the nearest hole. OK? So. Can you just round that no, I mean, we'd have to be more accurate. I mean, typically, I'm going to ask you for one angle to rounding, not rounding them all. I'm just trying to show you how to work through like multiple examples. OK? But you could also just use your rounding answer and just do, sorry, you could just round it for there and just do 52. But I think if you calculated that, it'd be 51, so feel answer. 